So as I am proposing as a hypothetical third alternative to the two that you are uh, presenting, objective and subjective reality, is a reality, a single reality, which you agree with, a single reality that is constrained by its need to remain internally consistent. Through that need emerge the laws and uh, constants that we observe as uh, entities that are part of reality. And that then, because it is self-referential, needs absolutely nothing external. No external cause, no unmoved mover, no God, nothing. So, it even makes more sense than your argument, it should even make more sense than your argument to you, because in its nature it rejects the very multiplicity that you argue against. The multiplicity that you say means that there is interconnectivity. So, in all fairness, I would expect this argument to appeal to you, but it leads you to something that you won't like, which is the possibility, the strong possibility even, that there is absolutely no such thing as a God. I, for that reason, have to reject any suggestion that an agent should have to be involved in reality whatsoever. But let's even assume this. Let's assume that I even accept that, which I don't. Let's assume. It still leaves a large number of questions open. For example, why would such an agent need to be theistic? It is in no way implied by anything you're saying. But there's one more thing I want to raise, and that's what I will do in my very last video.